Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I'm going to do some restoration work on the image that is here on our screen. Uh, the main things that I want to do are get her out of this cage that she's in, of this gilded frame, and also going to use AI to generate a new background for her that should help bring her a little bit more to life. And then there are quite a few blemishes on the issue that we're going to use the spot healing tool to take care of. So let's have a look at this image. It's a nice composition. And zooming in here, we'll see that it is definitely not a high resolution image. So the first thing that I did was I uploaded it to dgb.lol, where you can upscale images for free. And I did. So now this version is 300 DPI. And you can see here the difference between before and after, right? Quite striking. The other thing that it did was it took away a lot of the fine line blemishes and spotting. It sort of flattened things out, which really is great, but because we're going to be completely replacing it, just sort of an added bonus, I guess, less for the AI to try to compute around. So looking at the image, there are quite a few issues as far as blemishes and just some spots here and there. It'll, it will only take a couple of minutes to go through those. The first thing I'm going to do though is get rid of the distracting frame. So I'm going to bring it over here right to the edge of the sleeve, bring it down so that I get most of the frame cropped out. Same thing on this side and I'll bring it up from the bottom as well. Just like so. So now what do we have for an image? We're looking more like this which isn't too bad at all. So just to get rid of this item up here, again, it will be replaced, but we might as well just get rid of it with our, with our clone tool here really quickly. All right, great. So now we have our subject. She's looking better already. I'm going to go over here and choose the spot healing tool. I already have it at a decent enough size to work with here, and it's just going to be a matter of going around and doing happy little clicks, just like that. Actually, I didn't care for that one. We'll undo that and try that again. Like so. Like so. Where else? There's a large area here. I'm just going to paint. Boom. All right, so it's quite satisfying, really, to just go around and get rid of all these little blemishes. And some decisions that you have to make are things like here, it looks like a combination of either highlight or some tattered paper. So do you want to leave this? I think that what I like to do is try both ways. So that kind of leaves the highlight and the edge there without it being as prominent, I think. Same thing there, just kind of edge that out a little bit. Let me redo that. like so. Lovely. So let's continue here. There's a big one up here. One on the collar here I can see. Not worried about anything that's in the background. Look it up to the face. Lovely. Another little touch there. Here. Not too bad. I think that my mask is going to take care of that. The face couple of little blemishes here and here. Not too bad overall though. Come back down again. I'm going to get rid of that. This looks like a flaw. Not too bad. There's one little spot here, 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 there. And let's see what we're going to do here. So similar idea to what I was saying down below where it's you have to decide is this highlight or is it going to distract too much so I'm going to try it both ways and I think that that's fine just like that great she's coming along very well items here some bit of speckling great so that's coming along quite well you see how it definitely sharpens things up those things don't catch your eye anymore. And yeah, she's really coming together. 
Now, I'm not going to process down here too heavily because I'm going to actually ask the AI to render that area. And here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead now and start AI filling. So I'm going to select this area here and I'm just going to ask it to generate the fill without any instruction because I want to see if it's going to pull that section down and repair that clothing for me and make things consistent or maybe we'll have to take another approach. Maybe I will have to manually take care of all those issues first. We will find out here in just a moment. So there's number one, let's zoom in. Not bad, number two, also good. And number three is not as good. So I would take number one like that, that isn't too bad. And then I would just come in here and use my spot healing tool on a couple of areas. So I'm gonna flatten this image now. Like so, lovely. There really aren't any other pop out areas here. This is a bit discolored compared to the rest of it. So why don't I go ahead and grab the clone, decrease the size of my brush here to something that's a little bit more reasonable, something like that. And great, so that looks nice and natural, I think. Great job. So now we are looking at, this as our subject and her wardrobe, not looking too bad. We got rid of all the little blemishes, I think. So now I'm going to go select subject and that is going to mask very nicely around her and that will allow us to completely change the background. So here we go, it's processing. And just like that, nice mask all around her. So right now she is selected. I'm going to here on my generative fill bar, I'm going to hit this button which inverts the selection so now it's everything else that is selected. And in this case, I am going to ask Generative Fill to fill it specifically with, how about if we try a park in the background with a fountain blurred because I don't want, it. she's so much in the foreground that we don't want the background to even be sort of like mid near because it would just throw things off. So if we have things blurred, that may help. Might have to generate a couple of variations to see if we can find something that works well. That isn't too bad. No, that actually isn't too bad at all. Now you could say that the green is very vibrant compared, compared to her and you would probably be fair in saying that. How about if we go ahead and do one of these, auto tone and an auto color. And it does sort of soften those things a little bit. You know what? I think that that isn't too bad at all. Let's have a look at this on the screen compared to where we started. So we've taken the image from here where it was quite tattered, torn looking, very faded with this terrible frame around it. And we've turned it into this. Now you may agree or disagree that that background is, is appropriate. I'm going to go ahead and simply generate three more to see if we can find something else that looks great. I think it would be nice to have more um, sort of drabness, to be honest with you, just some more flatness to the colors. That isn't too bad, too, too close up, and that just seems unusual. So in the end, I am going to stick with this one. I think that that isn't too bad at all. I think that we have done our subject some justice. So if you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And I will see you the next time.